Hey, what's up? It's Colton Lindsay coming at you live. I got a thing broken on my phone here. I just realized. Appreciate you being inside of the WGR Academy. And I just want to give a shout out to Irvin who gave me an amazing compliment. Uh, Chad Boyle who called me yesterday for all almost 60 or 70. I can't even remember how many members in the prospecting lines. Thank you for all the value you bring to my life. So let's get into it. How would you like to be able to know what are the five steps in order to become an expert in prospecting? I wanna share them with me, so give me some thumbs up if you're ready for this, and make sure that you drop an L in the comments if you're live, and R if you're one of the replayers. Hey Amy, thanks for hopping on here live. So number one is you got to be enthusiastic, and one of the greatest trainings I've ever watched is Jordan Belfort's Straight Line Persuasion, and he calls it be enthusiastic as hell, right? Right? Have you ever noticed that the most enthusiastic people are the ones that have the most success inside of any business? And that is true when you become an expert with prospecting. The more enthusiastic you are, you can almost suck at the words, but you're so great at the context and the energy that you bring, people just naturally want to be in business with you, right? And the number one step into getting into business with someone is you've got to be able to meet with them, you've got to be able to present what value can you bring to them, right? So number one is be enthusiastic. Number two is you've got to be confident in your answers. If you're not confident in your answers, and I know you know what I'm talking about because the energy that's passed inside of your response is actually felt by the prospect. So be even more confident in your answers even if you think they might be wrong because it's the energy that you project. Now, I'm not saying go out and lie to your prospects at all. Be truthful in your answers, but be confident in your responses. If you don't know the answer, be confident in your response. You know, I don't know the answer to that. I'll find out immediately. By the way, that's one of the exact reasons we should meet for 15 or 20 minutes because I'm gonna go the extra mile. Isn't that what you're looking for in a realtor? Someone that's gonna go even further to get you more money? Number three is, be consistent. You gotta be consistent with prospecting because there's gonna be some days you're gonna make 75 contacts and you're gonna swing and you're gonna miss and you're not gonna set any appointments. But there's gonna be some days where you do maybe 25 or 30 contacts because you have such great conversation and you set three or four appointments. In my heyday of prospecting, I was setting anywhere from two to five appointments. That's right, two to five appointments in just one day. How would you like to be able to do that? Now what we're training you guys to do inside of Prospecting Alliance and the Prospecting Mastery Program, focus on getting to five appointments a week and then stepping it up to go to seven, to eight, to 10. The more appointments you set, guess what? The busier you're gonna be. The more choice you're gonna have with your customers and building out your business. And that's the whole reason I started the 28 Day Prospecting Challenge. Number one is so you can learn how to be enthusiastic. Number two is so you can be consistent with it. Those are the two of the top five steps in becoming an expert. Number uh, four, the fourth thing that you've gotta be able to do so that you are an expert at generating business, at prospecting. And remember, prospecting equals networking. If you don't like prospecting, change your definition of prospecting. Prospecting. prospecting equals starting relationships, and that's one thing we're gonna talk about here in a second. But the fourth thing is you gotta be obsessed with it. You gotta make it your focus every single day that anything else is coming secondary to me getting on the phones or getting at the doors, calling my SOI, calling my people farm, cold calling, doing whatever it takes to start and ignite that new relationship or to build that relationship, okay? So you've gotta be obsessed with it. If you're not obsessed with it, you're obsessed with something else. You're obsessed with excuse. You're obsessed with reasons why you can't be successful. The winners when it comes to any business, especially in prospecting, and it doesn't matter what prospecting you're doing, we're talking specifically in real estate here in this video, but when you're obsessed with prospecting, business naturally finds you. And I've told this story over and over again. In 2012, I was calling for sell by owners. I set an appointment. I remember back in 2012, I listed and sold over 40. That's right, 40 for sale by owners. At that time frame, I was wearing suits that were too big for me, ordered from China. How many of you guys remember the earlier days? This isn't clear back when I had super long hair and I was a really big scruff and a, and a punk kid, but this was a little bit when I started to have quite a bit of success. I was driving a 2001 Chevrolet No Fear motherfucking Cavalier. I remember it ran on natural gas. I could fill up a tank for like 12 bucks. It was awesome. But I would show up on these listing appointments, and for those of you that know, for sell by owners expired, you're usually typically competing against other realtors. And these other realtors were showing up in Hummers, they were showing up in Maseratis, they were showing up in BMWs, right? Here I am, showing up in my No Fear Cavalier, and I would get the listing contract signed. It was an amazing time. But what particularly happened this one time was I met with a for sale by owner who I actually was the 17th, that's right, 17th realtor that he had met with. I went through the entire 
uh, presentation, the fearless days of presentation, I left with a heaven percent contract signed, sold it within 13 days for $30,000 more than he was asking for sell by owner. How would you like to have those results? But here's what's cool. Today, he's my number one sales agent inside of the WGR sales organization. That's right. That guy that I met with driving a no fear Cavalier, wearing a too big suit and the 17th agent to interview, he now works with me. That's what I'm talking about can happen when it comes to prospecting. So don't think just short term in the idea that I'm going to get a deal now. I used to think that way and guess what? I would turn and burn through customers. And it was once I finally realized it was about building relationships and having a customizable database so it became a traction based prospecting versus chasing based prospecting. How many know what I'm talking about? You're tired of having to chase people. You're always competing for business. You're always tired of losing business to other realtors. Well, that comes in two parts. Number one, you got to build the attraction based business. Number two, you got to be amazing at your, at your listing presentation. Okay. So here's number five. Number five is you got to focus on building those relationships, right? And I just told you an amazing story of how nurturing that relationship has not only made me money on that one deal, but it's made me more and more money and it's made him more and more money and creating an amazing lifestyle. So think about prospecting as it building relationships and the initial cold call, the initial conversation, that's just the start of the relationship. Right? So if you're looking to just turn and burn your relationships with a shitty way to live life, then do it the way everyone else is teaching you. Right? But if you want to build a customizable database where people are attracted to you, build a relationship networking type business. And that's exactly what we teach inside of Prospecting Mastery. We teach it inside of the Prospecting Alliance. For all of you that are Prospecting Alliance members, put a PA in the comments below so I know who you guys are. So how many of you would like to know the bonus? The bonus in order to become an even more expert at prospecting. Well, you got to hear, literally, this is the secret. Whenever you want to create a physical result in your life, I don't care what it is, you find a proven model and you duplicate it. Get a coach, get a trainer, get a mentor, get a program, go to a live event. Those are five quick ways that you can do it. And it happens over and over again by being consistent, right? That's one of the things we talked about. So if you don't have a coach or trainer or a mentor, then you're doing it wrong, right? That's the exact reason why I started Prospecting Mastery, the WJ Academy, and then opened up the Prospecting Alliance Group, right? The Prospecting Alliance Group has nearly 70 realtors just like you that are fully committed to become even better experts at not only prospecting, but attraction-based prospecting, right? I'm talking the grass is greener on the other side, guys. You want to come over here because long-term, you're building a business. It's not about just getting paid today. It's about getting paid over and over again into the future. And there is a new way to do that that no one else out there is training or teaching. And what's cool about this is it's a way that we can do it together as a community, right? So I once had a really good friend of mine, Master Aaron. He's a Kung Fu master. He was addicted to drug. He's 20 years sober now. And he talked to me as I did an interview with him on my podcast about how drug addicts are healed or even anyone, just because it might not be heroin or cocaine or meth or something like that, we all are addicted to some, some type of drug. And the, the, number, the two most... Uh, predominant drugs that people are addicted to today is number one is their cell phone and social media. Bar none, the number one addiction people have just like you today. But number two is we are addicted to food, right? Like these are the two things that people are addicted to that are killing them, that they're numbing out their pain. But he talked about why is it that people are addicted to something and how we can actually be healed. Here's what's important. When you have an addiction, I don't care what it is, if it's, if it's heroin, if it's social media, if it's pornography, if it's alcohol, if it's food, if it's work. I actually use uh, my drug of choice used to be uh, work, right? But he says the only, and by the way, how many of you like to know my drug of choice today? I would love to share that with you because I do have a favorite drug today, okay? Um, but how you get healed is through community, right? We have to get healed through community. So I took that same concept and what we got to do is we got to heal ourselves from sucking at prospecting and not getting enough business and not making more money. But more than that, not being fulfilled, with our business. How many of you know realtors that are making a lot of money? They're just not fulfilled. They're not living a fulfilled life. When I look at the WJ Academy, we stand for three things. Number one, building a badass real estate sales business. Number two, creating financial freedom. Number three, living a life of fulfillment. How many of you guys know what I'm talking about? Put a yes in the comments that we want to be fulfilled and successful. That only happens with community. 
And the other way is when we're full of doubt, fear, worry, scared, right? Anxiety, depression. I know you guys have all experienced this. That's a space of aloneness. And that's where most realtors fail is they're afraid to spend money on a program or a coach or a trainer or a live event because they're afraid and they're staying in a space of aloneness and they've got this wall up and they're protecting yourself, their selves, right? So if you want to be healed from that and create a customizable database that just spits business at you every Every single day I'm talking like it becomes natural to set five to ten appointments every single week and in fact people are calling you people are coming to your office well it starts with getting into a community that's creating that themselves right so appreciate you all being here and my drug of choice you guys want to know it it's about getting high on your own motherfucking supply my favorite is oxygen and transformational breathing that's one of the things I teach in my mastermind to create more awareness to live in the presence to be able to be even happier even more successful even more fulfilled right so those of you guys want right now limited time only on sales prospecting mastery program I put a link somewhere it's probably a bubble up this video maybe it's down below this video also that we have open enrollment four spots left at the time of this video until we open it again for the prospecting alliance make sure you check that out if you have any questions send me a direct message I'd love to help you guys out look forward to growing even more the rest of the 28 day prospecting challenge because we're just starting it in the first week and we want to go even further we want to be even more successful we want to make even more money and if that's you more money more success, more appointments, more customers, and even better business, put a yes in the comments below. The purpose of the 28-day prospecting challenge is to help you with these five things. Be more enthusiastic. Be more confident in your answers. Be more consistent. Get even more obsessed. And finally, focus even more on building relationships because it's the relationships that's going to make you successful. It's going to make you even more money. Also, though, it's going to help you live a fulfilled life when you can create value for other people. Now, I want to write this concept down. Leaders create leaders. You are a leader, and I want to help you develop into an even better leader. Thanks for being here, guys. Like, comment, share, thumbs up. Put a live if you were live. Put an R if you were a replay. We'll see you later.